Tell me about the old man. What's he? What's he really like? Just like can't he... be as nice as the guy I just met. Oh no, he's got to be a dark, sinister side to Will Smith. We just you know found what? It. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> What That's what? what's crazy. It's not. What what made you fall in love with him? Um, I would say Will came um, at a time in my life where he saw beauty in me that I didn't see in myself at the time, and um, you know he saw a diamond in the rough and he kind of picked me up and blew off all the dust and said, "I'm telling you, I'm gonna make you shine, girl." <laughs> You certainly did, looking at that rock. Right, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I was going through a really rough time. And, um, you know, he, he, he created a space for, a safe space for me to get healthy and to grow and to find myself. And, and that's how do you keep things me. so, I mean, I, I keep reading that the pair of you have this sort of fantastic sex life <laughs> after 14 you years of marriage. You have to. I, you know, and I know people get so upset about it, but for me... I don't get it. I get, it, I get excited yeah, by it. Yeah, you... And what I read was that you, wherever it, you go, the pair of you, you try and make love. Is this I true? I mean, we've made love in some interesting places. I mean, should I be concerned about my green room? You like should that? be. <laughs> you should be, you know? But the thing about it is that I feel like you have to keep spontaneity. You have to keep... Um, you have to keep your partner on their toes, because once, you know, it starts getting into a routine, it's like... It gets very boring. It gets very boring. You know, and you commit, you give your life to as someone. A, as a Do you guys remember the movie Bad Boys? When Will was like... We ride together. We die together. Bad Boys for life. But according to Jada Pinkett Smith, it's more like we ride together, we die together. Bad marriage and entanglements for life. Keep fucking my wife's mouth! I'm going to, okay? Three doubles. Guys, you look at Will Smith and you think, fantastic actor, lovely guy, blokes love him, women love him, yeah. everybody loves him, and now we've got to deal with the fact he's good in bed as well. Yeah. This is just, a, it's a charge sheet. If you're being really critical, come on, really critical, given he's sneaking in the room right now. <laughs> Let's try and dwell on a fault. One fault. He's a workaholic. Is that a fault? It can be at times, but it's not like a crushing fault. Mm. But you said one thing. I gave you one. <laughs> do, do you ever, I gave you do you one. Do you ever have arguments? Do you ever scream at oh, each other? No, we don't scream at each other. Oh, the, we, 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 yeah, we, we cut that in the beginning because... <laughs> We're both very passionate people, so we knew we wouldn't survive screaming at each other. So, but yeah, we, we have our arguments and we have our disagreements and we have our debates and we have our, you know, we have our problems. I mean, it's not perfect in the sense that, you know, we don't have any issues. It's it's a it's a it's not an easy marriage. What is the what is the secret? The to secret a, to is a successful Hollywood marriage with all the particular pressures that fly in. Friendship. Friendship. You have to be friends. And, and in that, have a certain understanding of what is needed. I think that with marriages, people have to understand that you have to look at your marriage and understand what is needed in your marriage. Not what people think your marriage should be. Not what people want your marriage to be. But I have to look at my husband and I have to look at him and, and look at what he needs as an individual. He has to look at me and see what I need. And then we have to look at the union and, and see what the union needs. And we have to make decisions based on that. Not based on what people think marriage should be. Now, gentlemen, the first point I want to make is when interviewer Pierre asked Jada Pinkett Smith, what does she love about Will? Now pay attention to her body language. What, what made you fall in love with him? Um, I would say Will came... Um, 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 um. Her eye starts looking around, searching for an answer. She couldn't even answer the goddamn question. She says, oh, I was going through a tough time. Will save me. Then she says, I'm a diamond in the rough. Instead of making it about Will, she made it about herself. 
he saw a beauty in me that I didn't see in myself at the time. And, um, you know, he saw a diamond in the rough and he kind of picked me up and blew off all the dust. She couldn't even list three freaking traits. What she loved about Will. This immediately tells me that this relationship, this marriage is clearly not genuine. That this marriage, this relationship is one-sided. And what Jada said clearly reveals and tells a lot about her character. That Jada Pinkett Smith is a greedy, bald-headed creature that looks like exorcists from 300. That she is a self-centered individual who will never give or sacrifice a damn thing in a marriage or a relationship. Jada Pinkett Smith. She wants the benefits of a marriage, but without the responsibilities of being a wife in a marriage. If I was at Will's wedding ceremony, I would have kicked some sense into him. Now, if we activate our cheek slang shutting gun and analyze this situation with our thought of gun, nothing but a motherfucker's gang. We can see right through the fuckery of Jada Pinkett Smith. She clearly has two sides to her and articulate. Two face, no good, cock goblin monster who is a fraud, a deception, a woman who is trying to bamboozle you, a woman who is trying to put on an act. That she is this self righteous, spiritual person. But unfortunately, sweetheart, we see right through that big giant pile of dog shit. I don't give two craps what people feel about this bald head of mine. Are you sure about that? She puts on an act that her life is all together. But unfortunately, in reality, her life is a fucking train wreck. She is not going through a hard time. She is the hard time. And Jada Pinkett Smith is the perfect example of you never pay attention to a woman's words. You pay attention to her actions because according to the cheek pounding prophecy, section Thoralians, scripture hoology, it states, you never trust something that can bleed five days straight and cannot die because everything that comes out of her mouth is a damn lie. I think that with marriages, people have to understand that you have to look at your marriage and understand what is needed in your marriage. Not what people think your marriage should be, not what people want your marriage to be. But I have to look at my husband and I have to look at him and, and look at what he needs as an individual. Bullshit. Bullshit. You sell It's all bullshit. Red Table Talk. Jada reveals the worst crisis in their marriage. The turning point in our relationship for me st happened when I turned 40. Mm -hmm. That's when I had a midlife crisis. Your 40th birthday was my low point. In 2012, he threw her a lavish 40th birthday party, even hiring Mary J. Blige to perform. But it backfired. It was going to be the thing that lifted her out of this midlife crisis, and she, it was going to be my deepest, most beautiful proclamation of love. Uh, You're a simp! And she's told me that the party was the most ridiculous display of my ego. And when the interviewer, Pierre, asked Jada Pinkett Smith, what does she love about Will? She says, oh, he saved me because I was going through a lot. And I was going through a really rough time. Jada, I know you've been through a lot. And this clip will explain what I mean. My sister's been through a lot. A dick. A dick. When Jada said, Will came at a bad point in my life. I was going through a rough time. So to translate this in the language of the woman needs, Realistically, 
What she's trying to say is after Tupac left me. A lot of people, you know, talk about my relationship with Pac and trying to figure that out, you know, and that was a huge loss in my life. Absolutely, yeah. Because he was one of those people that I expected to be here. And my upset is more anger. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel that he left me. And I know that's not true. And it's right. a very selfish way to think about it. But I really did believe that he was going to be here for the long run. Yeah. After Tupac left me. After all the alphas ran through me just like the yellow light. I am ready for my beta male cuck scent mangina. He fucking my wife's mouth. I'm going to, okay? She about the fuck? Who's gonna wipe the jizz off my face and become my emotional tampon? And here comes Will Smith, the beta male cuck mangina. He fucking my wife's mouth. I'm going to, okay? She about the fuck? Ready to defend me, ladies? Honor, Will Smith. A wise man once said, J. Cole, can you come preach to the gospel for us? Hey, don't save her. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. And she don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. And she don't wanna be saved. It's not your responsibility to make your wife happy, right? Just like it's not my wife's responsibility to make me happy. It's my responsibility to make me happy and it's her responsibility to make her happy, and then we're gonna come together and build on- Remember this, gentlemen. It is not your job to make a miserable woman happy. And if you do, she will suck you into her shithole and send you to the shadow realms with her. <laughs> now, let's dive deeper. I want to put you guys into the perspective of Jada's mindset we are going to look at this with an rp lens also known as a cheek slang sharinga so to analyze a woman's dating mindset through an rp lens this is a woman's dating life in less than 30 seconds find the bad boy chase the bad boy try to change the bad boy idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people. Mm -hmm. The relationships fails with the bad boy and after all the alphas, the bad boys, dismantled her kitty and left the city. I'm about to bust. Gave her the cream pie and kissed her goodbye. Drop the cream and leave the scene. They gave her the crotch and let her rot. They dismantle her cooter and call her an Uber. <laughs> and after all the alphas and the bad boys played her, they tricked them, dicked them, and drop kicked them. Now she is emotional damage. Now she's ready to settle for the nice guy. And what you guys need to understand, that all women need the asshole first before she can appreciate the nice guy. Now she settles for the nice guy. The guy who gives her everything. The guy who becomes her emotional tampon. Will Smith, in this case. He fucking my wife's mouth. I'm going to, okay? She about the fuck? Will Smith does all that to get dumped and to get cheated on because she realizes the nice guy is boring. There's no chaos. There's no fun because most of the modern women are like this. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Now she wants to go out and hunt the bad boy. Change the bad boy. Get into a relationship with the bad boy. August Osina in this case because... When a woman is in her 20s, she belongs to the streets. But when a woman gets into her mid 30s and mid 40s, she wants to go back to the streets. But unfortunately, the streets don't want her ass anymore. Alicia Keys, can you sing us a song about Jada 
Pinkett Smith. Let's sing to the gospel. This girl is a cream gobbler. This girl is a, is a cream gobbler. She's sucking too many dicks. This, this girl is a cream gobbler. She belongs to the streets. Jada Pinkett Smith is what I like to call a professional harvester of cream gobblers. When it comes to Jada Pinkett Smith, she is the cream of the crop of all cream gobblers. Because if you look at Jada Pinkett Smith, she is a master manipulator. She is an emotional abuser. She is a soul sucking Jezebel, narcissistic, a person who gaslights people. Expect your partner to know Especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read my mind. You should read my mind. Yeah. You no, know what I mean? Jada Pinkett Smith is out there to make every single man's life miserable. Take a look at this clip. You know, Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say, don't just start filming me without asking me oh my goodness. if you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Please watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? This absolutely just breaks my heart to see Will like this. I mean, look at him. He looks miserable, uncomfortable. He looks defeated. That is the look I have on my face when I have not had ass in 300 years. The feeling of being discombobulated. And it's so sad to see the woman that Will loves is destroying his self-confidence. A talented human being who used to live with so much light and positivity. When will Will realize that Jada Pinkett Smith have nothing to offer to his life? And I have no fucking idea why Will is attracted to Jada. Jada looks like Exorcist from 300. Jada Pinkett Smith looks like Sam Cassell. I bet you if Will Smith hangs out with me for a day, I bet you we can find him a better looking woman than Jada at a fucking Walmart or at a Trader Joe's. This is a classic case of a narcissistic woman destroying her husband's morality and virtues. This is a prime example of a Jezebel, a soul-sucking succubus who is destroying her man's mental and psychological health. Jada Pinkett Smith is slowly sending her husband to an early grave. And fellas, believe it or not, we are watching Will's life crumble and dying in front of our very own eyes. Because gentlemen, remember this. When a man is striving in life, there is always a woman out there to fuck it up. This whole situation just shows you that Jada Pinkett Smith clearly does not love Will. She just used him for his resources. She just rolled Will's coattails to get her foot into Hollywood. Jada Pinkett Smith has always taken advantage of Will's heart, his kindness, and his love for Jada. And let's be honest, how many of you guys will know who Jada is if it wasn't for Will? She is a nobody, and that nobody has ruined Will Smith's life. And when Jada cheated on Will with her son's best friend, she brainwashed and emotionally damaged him into thinking that Extramarital sex is healing and freedom to a person's marriage. Saying that, oh, if you love me, you let me be with other people. That's gaslighting at its finest. And Will Smith's only redemption 
is to now divorce Jada Pinkett Smith. Will Smith needs to stop believing in this false narrative till death do us part. That love is in the air. That is a bunch of bullocks. And remember this, gentlemen. Take the red pill and analyze life with your cheek slang shutting gun. Fuck it right now, pussy. Because if you don't kill the beta, it will kill you. And gentlemen, remember this. There is no woman out there more beautiful than your freedom. Now, before I end this video, gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It is very much appreciated. Now to end things on a happier note, here's a bonus clip. I'm about to bust. So the million dollar question here is, how do you know when you have found a good, loyal, respectful woman? Gentlemen, I want you to take your hand like this. And I want you to grab your nuts. You feel that? Because a good, loyal woman will suck your dick when you're soft. Because a real woman will get you up when you're down. Perfect. Perfect.